Hey Gemini, it's Mama TPG with One Love One Light Tarot. Welcome to your breakthrough reading. I'm going to start with the Black Moon Astrology cards to see what cosmic activity is affecting your breakthrough energy. Spirit, what is the breakthrough energy and how, which planet or cosmic energy is affecting this breakthrough? And we have Jupiter return benefits number 49. Okay. And let me look at my little notes here. So Jupiter is in Aquarius and it goes in, it doesn't go into Pisces until May 13th. So Jupiter is in the sign of Aquarius and we are in Aquarius season right now. So I definitely see this as being significant energy for you, Gemini. So let's see, number 49, we're gonna read from the book. I am going to paraphrase a little bit just because the descriptions are kind of lengthy. So I'll try to paraphrase where I can. So it says, a Jupiter return occurs every 12 years. This marks the time the largest and most expansive of planets returns to the original place of when you were born. Turning up the Jupiter return card indicates a period when doors are open to you and obstacles are lifted. You are given the freedom to advance your goals with absolute abandon. It suggests you will soon be entering a time when you encounter less resistance and life should flow much easier. The Jupiter return card is the green light that gives the go ahead. All paths are now clearing and you are to take the utmost advantage of this. Love and romance takes on a sweetness, a sense of freedom where you can be who you are with the addition of acceptance and generosity. You may attract many potential lovers at this time, so choose wisely or the relationship could be very short lived. And also be careful of indulging in too much to eat or drink. So in short, love others with grace and patience. Know that generosity is its own reward. Keep the expansive energy of Jupiter flowing, but with discernment and in answer to your question, yes, but only if you are wise in your choices. So if there were any questions you were asking, it's saying yes. So this card can be compared to the chariot and the key ideas are earned luck, fortune, rewards, profits, an auspicious year, the future, and aspiration. And it's so fitting for it to be in Aquarius, which is really um, about the future, right? Where all of us are looking at what's next and how is the world changing, especially after 2020. So I feel like this is extremely significant and it may be even more significant to you if this is your Jupiter return year, depending on your chart. So let's get a spirit message to get the buy-in of our guides and archangels and guardian angels. So we have reach out and it says, we know you, we know you're reaching out right now for help due to a certain situation. Support is as much about the physical act of accepting help were offered as it is about the emotional benefits and learning that it's truly okay to accept support however it's presented to you. So I feel like there may, you know, you may have been going through a period of time that, you know, you have some type of struggle and you also struggle with allowing that support in or asking for support. And there definitely is um, a message from Spirit saying there there are people or spirit guides whatever it is that want to help you that want to help you through this period give you guidance comfort um direction so let's see how this is going to play out for you gemini and it could be so much as you know because jupiter return is so much about expansion I mean, I feel like this is really where we're going to find breakthrough energy coming through. And breakthrough is just 
Um, it's been very different for each sign, but it was something I was just seeing everywhere. And then since I started this series, just other readers, I keep hearing, um, I keep hearing the word breakthrough. So it's just been confirmation for me that this was the right series to do at this time. So calling in spirit guides, Gemini spirit guides, archangels, guardian angels. How is this going to play out for Gemini? We have the three of cups and that's that support energy. Celebration. Um, we have the two of pentacles. So there could be a choice that you're needing to make. Um, maybe it's about prioritization. Maybe it's about having to pick between two things and this expansion bringing into focus which is priority or maybe the ability or the um, how you can handle both without having to juggle. What's the challenge here for Gemini? And we have the Page of Cups. So there could be, I feel like when I see this Page of Cups, I just feel like there's something where you may be feeling like there may be some fear behind showing your feelings to somebody or having that conversation. Doesn't have to be. We have the Three of Pentacles. So definitely collaboration energy here rebuilding i get that a lot with rebuilding finding creative endeavors and maybe it's not something that you're meant to do alone maybe it is about you know counting on somebody leaning on somebody in order to reignite that flame within that creative spirit and the outcome is the four of wands so this is all about bringing you into you know it starts with this three of cups energy which is very celebratory and so is the four of wands but it goes towards having you know stable support system around you and then having stable you know home life and um stable relationships okay so incidentally at the bottom of the deck is the chariot card which is what this um, Jupiter return was likened to in the book. All right, so I'm going to use the Twin Flame Journey Tarot to clarify, just to take this a little deeper. So Spirit Guides show us clearly why the Three of Cups is here. And we have the Queen of Wands, confident and magnetic. And I, and I feel like this is saying you're going to draw or you're already have been drawing in those that support you, those that uplift you and motivate you when you need it most. And it could definitely be your own spirit team that is, you know, co-creating with you, with the divine. So why is this Two of Pentacles here? And we have defense mechanism. So I feel like there is a little bit of fear surrounding whatever this decision is. And like I said, it could be about really being open with your feelings towards another. But I feel like it's all based in fear. And Spirit is saying with the Seven of Wands that you'll have the higher ground. That it's about just making a decision in order to not feel stuck. To You know, Seven of Wands can also feel like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place, but you, you know, need to know that you have the higher ground to keep moving forward. So why is this page of cups here as a challenge? And we have the 10 of wands, heavy burden. So I feel like what it is, is that I'm getting this, that there's a beautiful expansion coming to your relationship but it's about having to not take it all on yourself. This is, you know, if it's a relationship, um, you know, it's about balancing out and not being the one that has all the burdens. They're not all yours to carry. And this could be because maybe the person that you're with is going through a lot and you want to be there for them and that's great, but you have to be there for yourself. So there has to be a little offloading of some of these burdens, these heavy burdens. 
and it could be even feeling you know nervous about sharing something from your past but really opening up and just recognizing and accepting for yourself because that's really just mirroring um, your own um, kind of wanting to back away from things that have happened to you not associate yourself with the things that have happened in the past your past does not define you but it did shape you and so it's about coming to terms with your past being able to look at even the bad things as being benefit towards your soul growth now and making you the person and putting you in the position to have met this this other person Okay, so why is this Three of Pentacles here as the advice? And we have the King of Cups, Emotional Mastery. Okay, so what I'm getting is that you're really, you know, it's it's okay to reach out. This is, again, another card of co-creating with spirit. And I feel like, you know, it's about asking, you know, Archangels, especially, I'm going to say Archangel Raphael, to help you heal, to help you balance your emotions, to help you come to terms with many of the um, wounds that have not yet healed within you. Why is this Four of Wands here as the outcome? And we have the Nine of Sor Swords, self-sabotage and nightmares. So when I see the Nine of Swords, it's definitely about a high point of fear and normally when I see the nine of swords I'm also thinking this is about feeling helpless in a situation that you have no control over okay so it's these are almost to me when I look at the four of wands and the nine of swords these are almost like opposite energies this is stable and celebratory this is fearful and helpless right so it's about balancing that out um, and finding that balance, stability, and letting go of the things that you can't control. Um, our mind tends to go into overdrive when we are trying to think of every possible outcome to a scenario so that we can prepare ourselves. It's all in fear and it's really ego-based, mind-based that can get out of hand, right? You know, it's just about trusting that you're being guided properly all right so i think that's where your breakthrough is really going to come through is allowing your spirit team to really help you through a dark time and help you to heal things help you to um, come to terms with a lot of um, negativity that may have been clouding your vision in the past so it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. It is a, It is all about benefits. Okay, so let's get a star seed illumination card or two or three. <laughs> However many messages um, Spirit would like to leave us with for guidance for Gemini. Okay, we have observation. Expand your consciousness by observing the divine matrix of life. So I feel like that is, it's about, it's about watching the way that spirit moves in your life when you need it the most and being aware, right? It's about being aware of the signs that they are showing you, the, the triumphs that you've had in life. All of that is in a, an observance to deprogram those things that we have been taught not to you know count on things that we can't see right but there are things that you can physically observe in the universe in your life that show where spirit's hand has moved quite quite drastically in your life to help you all right and we have earth guide your sacred calling upon this planet is to simply love and be loved so it's I feel like this um, relationship may very well be with, I'm looking and I'm thinking it could be a water sign. Um, it could be any sign. Water, I see water sign, fire sign. Um, yeah. I don't see any major arcana. 
So I feel like this is a really good time for you. This is not um, about major, major transformation. It's just about that one last thing that you may have needed to move forward with something or fill like complete a cycle whatever it is this Jupiter energy is going to give you that expansion necessary all right and we have transcendence transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine and I feel like this is you know it's like you're being guided you're also being given the signs and synchronicities to motivate you. Maybe you are someone that needs that tangible um, evidence to, to keep motivated. And I feel like this is what's going to bring you into this transcendence and illumination. All right, Gemini, those are the messages that came through. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. <coughs> Excuse me. And remember that the universe has your back and so do I. Take care.